We'll be back Appuyez shortly after. Appuyez attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain, décollage. Well, much, much vi better visibility than we dared hope for just uh, maybe even an hour ago. It's been uh, raining and overcast most of the day, but some fine, fine shots at liftoff of Ariane roaring off the pad into the gray, trailing the gold plumes as she makes her way up into the sky over French Guiana. She took off right on time at 17.38 local time. These fine shots are always, always very impressive. 775 tons at liftoff as Ariane leaves the ground. Most of that is fuel, as you will see. She'll beginning, she'll be start to shed that. The DDO is saying that everything is fine on board. Right now, she's burning five tons of fuel per second, 2.5 tons in each booster burning. Uh, that represents the major part of the boost. That's uh, 90% of the acceleration on the power at liftoff. The core stage burning another 300 kilos kilos per second. Roughly add up that uh, all together, it's roughly the equivalent to a dozen Airbuses. Ariane following now the program in the onboard computer, which has been uh, installed, giving all the orders, including stage separations, which we'll begin to see just very shortly. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last is not. We'll describe each in turn. So you can follow Ariane as she heads across the Atlantic, where she'll separate the two passengers over Africa. Right now, the first pay phase, the single core stage engine, the co it's called Vulcan, and the two boosters, and the two boosters are burning. Boosters will burn uh, for just over two minutes uh, each, and in a few seconds, you should hear the DDO call out their separation, des deux their separation, and that comes right on time, at about 68 kilometers up. This is what it looks like. There's another uh, booster out of the camera range, but the two of them separated, delivering. Uh, delivering, done, done their job. They fall uh, 500 kilometers away from shore.